Dear friends, uh, today I'm going to continue my video diary. I find myself in Augsburg, Germany. Um, it is 1st of June. And just in a couple of hours, I will have here my talk and presentation at the Eden Culture Festival. But I want to talk about my last three days in Italy, in the Italian city of Genova. Um, I had a piano recital in the beautiful uh, Carlo Felice Theater uh, in Genova, and uh, it was music of uh, Schumann and Mussorgsky, and uh, um, I just enjoyed it tremendously. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater with great acoustics, a uh, large theater, and uh, they had a very... Uh, singing beautiful uh, Hamburg Steinway and the piano technician was um, there at all times. The audience was very uh, welcoming. Um, I think I played five encores or four encores. So I don't remember already, but um, anyway, it was just a very, very um, beautiful um, experience for me. And uh, but uh, the purpose for this uh, video diary is um, uh, actually to share more everyday life uh, as it happens, and uh, um, so a little more details. Um, we arrived to uh, Italy from Vienna on Sunday, last Sunday, and the plane arrived on time uh, to Milan uh, around ten thirty in the evening. But the first adventure and challenge happened with the luggage. Um, we were waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it for an hour and a half. And um, it arrived finally. Uh, but by the time we got to the hotel, it was long past midnight. Now we are now already the day of the concert. And uh, the day of the concert, the plan was supposed to be very, very simple. Uh, which is to wake up in Milan to uh, and the hotel was at the airport to pick up the previously reserved uh, rental car at the airport also and to drive to Genova, which is about two hours from Milan. Simple, not so. So when, when uh, of course, when... Uh, um, we travel, there are always things that um, go not as expected. So um, so here, um, first thing that happened was we were at the airport, going to the rental car company at the airport. And there is this shuttle that goes be between arrivals and the rental car company. Now, the shuttle is very small car. It fits maybe six people. And the shuttles come every 10 minutes. And it takes people who have some kind of magical piece of paper <laughs> with reservations. Nobody told us at the rental car about any type of reservations for the shuttle. Nobody told us about it in the hotel. And we asked everyone how to get to the shuttle. So, and every time we asked a driver, okay, what do we do? The answer would be next shuttle. So the next shuttle would come and the story would repeat. They would only take people who had these magical pieces of paper. So after about an hour, they realized there always will be the next shuttle. So we gave up and decided to find a taxi. Simple, right? No. So apparently the taxis would not take us to the rental car company uh, because they go to the town. And uh, we offered them any money they wanted. No, they have to drive to town. They cannot take us to the rental car company at the airport. So after talking to about six drivers, well, we had to give up. Now it's already an hour and a half later than planned. And uh, we went to uh, to the street level, found taxi on the street, finally got to the rental car company. Now you would think it would take only three minutes because the car was long reserved. 
that it took about an hour of paperwork <laughs> and all kinds of signatures. So by the time we're actually driving from the airport, we are seriously late. Um, now, luckily, it's my piano recital. I'm not rehearsing with anyone. It's just my own schedule for a day, which I beautifully constructed. Um, but uh, by the time we got to Genova, it was already after four o'clock in the afternoon. And I had to go directly to the hall because it's my first time playing uh, in this hall. And I wanted as much time as possible to get used to the piano and the acoustics. So uh, from then on, everything goes beautifully. And I was very happy to see some dear, dear friends in the audience. And even one of my ex-students uh, came to the concert. I was very happy to, to see them. And uh, we went for a little celebration afterwards, which was also very nice. So next day uh, was my free day. Um, and we were able to um, rent a reserve a private uh, tour guide um, to show to show us a little bit the city. And the city is beautiful. Went to many churches. Um, just just a very beautiful, not very touristy uh, Italian city. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, was quite tiring a lot of walking a lot of walking up and down um because the city is it's all in the hills and uh, uh, then i uh, was scheduled to practice at the house of uh, uh, bici costa korzowski uh, she is um, a piano uh, pianist herself and uh, she is a widow of a very um, famous um, pianist, um, Mstislav uh, Horsovsky. And um, it was such a pleasure to meet her. Um, and she is, um, she was at my piano recital and she was very generous with her time. She gave me the whole tour. It's really more than 100 years um, of history in her house. Actually, um, about 150 years um, of uh, photographs of, of uh, her husband with uh, many uh, most famous uh, celebrated musicians of the 20th century. Um, I think he was about 40 years older. Um, and just, just incredible trip into a very, very rich musical history. Um, and of course, uh, he he's a legend, but I never knew that she is an incredible pianist. So um, she, there is a there is a video I posted. Um, if you're curious, uh, she actually played for me one of the pieces, and I thought it was absolutely wonderful. And she has such an incredible touch um, and colors and. Uh, and at her age, she still gives piano recitals, which I find absolutely extraordinary um, and such a such a great gift and example, and just a very brilliant, brilliant mind. She also gave me two beautiful books um, with uh, some postcards from her husband. And um, anyway, um, really enjoyed uh, practicing for three hours at her house. And then we went for a gallery opening, which was also very, very nice. Um, and so it was a very full day. Uh, in the evening, I was editing uh, for an upcoming recording. And uh, yesterday, um, we traveled to Germany. Uh, one comment also in Genova, uh, I really found people very, very kind. Uh, just everyone, the hotel, um, the coffee shops, uh, uh, I needed to go to a pharmacy and get advice of the pharmacist for something. And she was absolutely incredible and uh, um, really, really helpful. So I really found people very warm, very welcoming, very friendly. So I was very, I feel very, very good about this, this trip and very grateful for everyone who made it possible. And um, 
Then uh, yesterday we traveled to uh, first to Munich, then to drove to Augsburg. And today I give uh, this upcoming talk at the Eden Culture Festival, which is a festival that um, brings together thinkers, philosophers, religious leaders, and uh, just very interesting people. And tomorrow I'm going to be traveling again. <laughs> My poor dog. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, I don't think he's looking forward, but um, we are going to Vilnius to Lithuania, and I actually cal calculated it will take 11 hours if everything goes on time to get to Vilnius from Augsburg, because we have to go through first to Munich, then through Poland, and then to Lithuania. And I'm going straight from the airport to a four-hour long rehearsal. So it's going to be a long, tough day. Um, but um, anyway, it will be the next leg of the adventure. And I will continue this uh, video diary from Lithuania. Thank you. <laughs>